Hi, I went to TwitchCon Amsterdam 2022 to answer the question Is it worth the 105 bucks? I filmed and compressed the vlog uh, It's pretty short, so to get an idea how, how is it going there I would advise to watch it But if you just want the conclusion part You can skip to the timestamp in the description or to just this uh, time I uh, hope you enjoy Hello friends, I'm at the Amsterdam in Twi uh, in at, at TwitchCon. Uh, I got my badge. It says Gaming Chair TV on, on the other side because I'm a stupid idiot. And I changed my name uh, and I can't change it back. So I just need to drop my backpack in the locker and then we're good to go. Show. took a picture with Will uh, it's kind of funny Austin actually approached me because I just looked at him uh, a bit and he was like hey how are you doing I'm like yeah just, just doing just fine yeah so so far so good but this place is huge and I'm fucking lost in it like you don't even know where to go uh, where to find shit like the gamers are playing there's a Twitch Rivals platform. I don't I don't really know what to do. Okay, updates. Uh, I went to the Twitch Rivals uh, arena. Watched there a bit. Uh, there were some streamers I don't know and they were playing some games that I'm not too interested in so I sat there for like an hour it wasn't too entertaining I noticed that Hassan arrived and Leslie and the crew so they are just standing there and there's a lot of fans around didn't didn't come up saw them though uh, will come up probably try to meet meet them and take a picture later and uh, chat a bit in the more convenient way. So many people in all the queues uh, for all the events. I try to uh, participate in the Fall Guys Rivals. I stood there for like 20 minutes and uh, the queue just doesn't move. It's just, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I expected it to be like this, so they're like, what am I supposed to do? But yeah, there's so much queues and s like you don't really know what to do if you're alone, like not with friends. Uh, so your only entertainment can be like meeting creators and talking to them. But at the same time, there's so many people uh, for the specific creators I want to meet that want to meet them. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a mess. So this is the line to meet uh, Hassan, Will and Austin. This is the line for it. And that is the line for Pokey. It's humongous. I don't think I'll be able to, to get there. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so uh, that was the first day of TwitchCon. Nothing really happened, uh, ex nothing exciting. Yeah, I saw a lot of uh, streamers and stuff. I uh, wasn't really uh, about to walk up to them. I uh, didn't want to bother too much. Yeah, it's underwhelming, honestly. I think there could have been much, much more stuff uh, inside, like stuff to do, stuff to look at, much more tense could be, but there's not too there's there's not, not too much there's one big room with not a lot of stuff in it time to go to the hotel we'll come here tomorrow and see 
what, what, <laughs> see what we can do. Uh, this is the hotel that everyone is staying at. Um, I'm not staying here because it's too fucking expensive. So yeah. Hello, it's day number two. Uh, woke up, ate some breakfast, and I'm going back to the shithole, hoping to have uh, at least some fun interactions. We'll see how it goes today. Okay, hello. It's three. Uh, PM. Uh, I was at TwitchCon for like four hours doing absolutely fucking nothing. There was literally like uh, I sat there, watched the show, it was pretty fun. I recorded a bit, but that was like for one hour with uh, Koji and Elam, if you know them. Uh, yeah, and apparently like people who had their meeting greets, they just like. Not, not even coming for the second day. So yeah, I heard that Blau and Leslie and uh, James and Mio and all, all the all the all the squad they're gonna be they're gonna be somewhere in Amsterdam. So they're gonna stream it, and I'm gonna try to find them. Maybe that will be more casual than on TwitchCon because the the amount of people that come up and. I think they're they are getting really overwhelmed, so I hope I can find them and it will be fun. I'm back home. It was uh, a good day. Uh, it was a bad day until uh, 3 p.m. But then uh, I got a very sweet message from GRM. I, I left Witchcon to just go explore the city because it was so fucking boring there was n nothing to do yeah and then I went back uh, at like around 5 and then Leslie and Blau showed up and I actually managed to uh, meet Leslie that was the sweetest thing ever I felt so happy and uh, the only thing that that's bad about it is that <laughs> I accidentally started film, filming a video and I thought it's fine like it's just, it's just gonna be a little video it was it would be so super, super cute we would like say hi to the camera with her I looked back on the footage and I actually did not record it I recorded a little fragment a little piece of it and I feel so dumb but technically I still have the the video but it's just it, it's a bummer. It would have been a, such a cute moment uh, to to film, but it's gone. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm gonna uh, explore a bit more of the Amsterdam tomorrow, but I'm gonna probably film it just as a background footage. So yeah, it doesn't fucking matter what I film there. Peace. Okay, so how do we answer the question? Now that you watch the footage, uh, why shouldn't you go? It was pretty simple. Uh, I would not go there alone because uh, you, you, you will get much less fun if you go alone. If you don't have anyone either to meet, if you don't have a planned meeting uh, with a person that you can like hang out with legitimately, like with, uh, with the Discord members of your community or with some other friends just to come. Uh, if you don't have that and you just go in alone, you won't be able to play most of the arcades because they are for two people, most of the footballs because they are for two people, most of the uh, tabletop uh, games, hockey, uh, air hockey, uh, most of the playstations that they put there uh, for two people, and most of the stands and the booths uh, of companies have something to do with two people so yeah if you're going alone there's not that much stuff you can like have fun with yeah if you don't have anyone to meet or anyone to go with i would not go 
Not only that, but I would also not go if you don't have a creator you really want to meet. And I'm not talking about like just creators that you know, like uh, y you can know a lot of creators. Y you can like watch PewDiePie, watch Jacksepticeye, but you you you're not necessarily really a fan of them. You're not necessarily are really passionate about what they're doing. You're not necessarily gonna come up to them, and. Uh, they're not necessarily going to be excited to hear you out and uh, I think that's just boring. In my case I had uh, Leslie to meet, I really, re I was really excited, I was going pretty much because of that and uh, yeah that was pretty much my plan. Uh, but if you don't have a specific creator I wouldn't go. But if you are alone and you're thinking about and you like really really want to meet a specific creator I would advise you to go but not necessarily hang out there a whole lot you know uh, just to uh, have have a time spend time to uh, find them subscribe to all their social media and the moment you uh, meet them you can get the fuck out of there because there's not not much to do all the shows that uh, they were filming uh, all the shows that they were in the arena, in the arena or in the rivals in the theater, they were aimed to be streamed. There is not much you do there as a viewer. You don't really see anything, so you just look at the screens and you don't really cheer up for a specific team. Expo is underwhelming. Uh, the games that were on Expo are not the games that I know, not the games that I'm excited about. There's, there was really not much to do there except just roam around and wait so yeah if you don't have a specific creator or a specific uh, people you really want to meet I would not go there it's not worth it if there was a good expo with the games that are actually big and popular so that everyone can find something to look out for like I don't know I play Dead by Daylight I love Dead by Daylight where's my Dead by Daylight booth with Dead by Daylight merch and stuff at least it would be fun for me to go there and see that. But if you have friends, uh, I think you will have a bit of fun and still uh, you'll be able maybe to meet some creators. If you have an ability to go there with a friend or meet up with a community uh, members of your streamer or game or whatever you're interested in uh, and still you have uh, the desire to meet uh, the creator you want, I would go there. Uh, I think the experience of meeting the creator you really want is invaluable. You cannot not evaluate it. I was so happy to meet Leslie and unfortunately the footage is gone but it was such a great experience. I will remember that for m maybe my whole life and it gives me inspiration to do this video now, for, for example. Do with this information what you want. Uh, in San Diego there will be another TwitchCon in November and I would expect that it will be better than this one because it's in America so companies from America will be able to easily bring their booths to the expo maybe that would uh, make something more interesting thanks for watching and thank you for 3k subs please be patient with me I'm working always, I'm always working it just takes a long time and thanks for being here and watching and bye bye